Okay, so we skip around a little bit. We'll start with number one here now. These, um, going back to chapter one, we've talked about these things, okay, in a figure like this. Um, parallel and segment, we should know what these words mean. What you're looking for is name one pair of figures to match the descriptions. Lines and planes that appear to be parallel are parallel. So, number one, name a pair of parallel segments. We got. All right, let's start with EH. EH is parallel to FG. Do you guys agree? Yeah. Yeah, good. So the symbol for parallel is two kind of longer lines like that. EH is parallel to FG. Probably not. Right. Okay, number two, skew segments. Skew means there is no relationship. Okay? Uh, they're not perpendicular. They're not parallel. They don't have a relationship. I kind of think of it as um, like a road coming underneath and then an overpass going over top. They don't intersect really, right? But they're not parallel. A road coming over underneath and like an overpass going over top, they'd, they'd be skew. Um, skew segment. Somebody decides the max. Unless you got a question, right? Okay. A skew segments. I'm going to pick a line. Let's go with HD. It's the initials of my wife. High definition. <laughs> um, HD. What is skew to HD? So HD is right here. So a, a line, a segment, I should say, that doesn't have a relationship to that. So it's not parallel. They don't intersect. EF would work. Yeah. Look, they're not parallel. They don't intersect. So HD is skew. To EF. Parallel planes. How do you name a plane? Three letters, actually. It's like a triangle. You triangulate them. Yep, three letters. So plane, let's pick a plane. A, D, C. All right, A, D, C is this plane, uh, plane right here. Okay, so it's all of this. It's like a triangulation, but it extends on forever. So plane... What'd you say? ADC is parallel to EFG. Good, and I think you guys kind of remember that from chapter one. Okay, on the bottom, alternate interior. This is what we did. This is what we should have learned from taking our notes. Alternate interior. So interior. It's talking about inside these two lines here going in the same direction, right? So interior meaning 8, 2, 3, 6. Alternate then would be alternate side of the line. So somebody give me a pair of alternate interior angles. And two and three would work. Just for fun, what would be the second pair? <laughs> Wasn't that fun to name them? It was, yeah, I know. Number five, same side interior. Again, same side. We can kind of eliminate things here, right? It's, it's right here, same side of this transversal. And then interior. What do you guys think? Is it eight and three? Yeah, angle eight and angle three. Corresponding. So these kind of, they match up, they go together, they're in the same spot. One and seven. Not quite. <laughs> you see how they're like in the same spot? If I, was to, if I was to pick up this point and move it to this point, they'd be right in the same spot, right? If I'd pick that up and move it, it'd be right in the same spot. One and three would work, or uh, seven and six. 
Or you tell me. Give me one I haven't said yet. Four and two would work, right? So any of those would work. Yeah, there's four pairs of of congruent, sorry, of corresponding angles there. Oh. Alternate exterior. So again, exterior means outside of these two lines. And then alternate, meaning opposite sides of the line. What do you guys think? One and four would work. Good. Number eight. Why does the word coplanar... Why is the word coplanar included in the definition for parallel lines? Definition of parallel lines are lines that don't intersect. But you got to add that word coplanar in there. So really it's coplanar lines that don't intersect. Why? Why do you have to add coplanar in there? Can you think of lines that don't intersect that aren't parallel? What would we call those lines? Lines that are not parallel, but they don't intersect. That is it is. We talked about it in number two. Skew. Skew. Lines that are... Uh, lines that don't intersect, but aren't coplanar, are skew lines. Okay? So, why is the word coplanar included in the definition of parallel lines? Um... It has to because otherwise it'd be skew. So something like that. Otherwise, they'd be skew. They'd be skew. So I'm getting into the holiday spirit, guys. Guess what movie I really want to watch? What's your, Elf. What's, your, what's your favorite holiday movie? Nope. Elf is up there, though. Polar Express, all these are good, but that isn't the one that's that, that I mentioned to watch. It gets me in the mood. All these are good guesses. Home Alone. Can't wait to I can't wait to watch Home Alone. Can't wait to watch it. It's, it's top of the list. Oh, I, the, you gotta you gotta watch like both of them, right? You gotta watch the first one and then the second one. Maybe not in the same sitting. Right? I'd fall asleep. Yeah. But yeah, you gotta get the whole experience. Number nine. How how does the phrase alternate interior angles describe the position of the two angles? Uh, they're on different places. Alternate meaning different sides, right? Interior meaning inside. Inside, right? So they're inside on different sides. Use your own words there. Okay, I'm not going to write it down. You describe how alternate interior angles describe the position of the two angles in your own words. Wait, it's alternate interior. Yep, alternate interior. Number 10, we ready? Yes. This right here, um, it's talking about HG. That's the line right there. So Carly says AB is parallel to HG. Juan says AB and HG are skew. Who's right? Are they parallel? They look parallel, don't they? Yeah. Well, then why would Juan say they're skew? 
He's just wrong. <laughs> Here's the trick, guys. They don't look to be in the same plane. The word, the word parallel includes the word coplanar. They have to be two coplanar lines. They don't seem to be in that same plane, right? But they are, because don't forget about that diagonal plane here. So they're in that same plane. They just happen to be in a diagonal plane. So they are parallel. So score one for Carly. Carly is correct. Who is correct? Carly. Why? Because of that diagonal plane. page. Okay, uh, use the diagram up top there, number 12, all lines that are parallel to AB. Find AB. There it is. What other line is parallel to AB? FG, is there any more? I don't, I don't think so. It's like on a little angle there, so. 14, all lines that are parallel to the plane. All lines that are parallel to the plane. J, F, A, E. How is that oriented? How is that oriented? Up and down, flat, diagonal. How is J, F, A, E? J F A E. How is that oriented? It's right there, right? Is it up and down? Well, listen. Is it up and down? Is it laying flat? Is it diagonal? Is it? Is it like? Is it more like a floor? Or is it more like a wall? It's a wall, right? So any corner that's going up and down, like this wall is going up and down, is going to be parallel to that plane. Lines and planes can be parallel to each other. They don't have to be coplanar in order to be parallel. Okay, In fact, they shouldn't be. So this is a case where they should be non-coplanar. All lines that are parallel to JFAE, somebody give me one. CL. CL. Somebody besides Max, give me another one. Uh, DH, is that what you said? D? No, DH. DH is correct, so we got this one up here. CL, DH, there's one more. GB. GB. Makes me think of the Green Bay Packers. Questions, comments, or repeats before we move on? Number 20, you have to name these that are same color. So like one and two are the same color. We need to name them. So what are the, like, what are the red pair? You could say red. What are the red pair? How do you describe them? Same side. Uh, yeah, corresponding. So C-R... Sorry, C O R 
corresponding angles. Let's go with the blue pair. So, um, by the way, let me back up. Chase was like, oh, well, they're same side. Oh, they're interior. No, they're not. Oh, they're exterior. No, they're not. If, if your mind does that, that means it's corresponding, right? Because that's the idea of corresponding. They're on the same spot side. One's interior, one's exterior because they're in the same spot. Okay. The blue sets uh, angle four and three. What are they? Alt. Alternate interior. Four and three are alternate interior. Yep. And then the black, the five and six. Are they? Five and six. Yeah, the black pair. Huh? Yeah, good. Twenty-two. Use the diagram at the right. Describe the statement as true or false. CB is parallel to HG. Yes. All right. So yeah, that's true. HG. That was uh, that was my wife's initials before she got married. That's not. Plane A B H, A B H. So that'd be like the the back side of the roof, right? A B H. This is a house. And plane C D F. Are they parallel? No. 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 So that's false. That's false. It says if false, explain. Assume the lines that appear to be parallel are parallel. So that one's false. The reason being, uh, that one's coming in at an angle. That one's going straight up. We can see that, right? A rectangular rug, number 26. A rectangular rug covers a floor in a living room. One of the walls is the same living room. Uh, is painted blue. Are the rug and the blue wall parallel? Uh, kind of. It's a yes or no question. A rectangular rug covers a floor in a living room. One of the walls is, is in the same living room is painted blue. Are the rug... And the blue wall parallel? No. No, is the wall and the floor parallel? No. No. They intersect at the at the bottom corner, right? So no. They intersect at the bottom corner. Twenty eight. Determine whether each statement is always, sometimes, or never true. Two parallel lines are coplanar. Always. Always. That's part of the definition. Parallel lines, in order for them to be parallel, they have to be coplanar. Thirty two planes that do not intersect are parallel. So if it's no, um, you got to tell me a, a situation where two planes intersect and they're where two planes do not intersect and they're not parallel. Is that possible? And if it's sometimes again, you got to give me a counterexample. Yeah, that one's always again. Yeah, planes in space if they don't intersect, they're parallel. Lines in space if they don't intersect. That doesn't necessarily mean that they're parallel. They could be skew. All right. That's all the time we got. Um, I'll put this on YouTube so people at home can find it. And then um, I need to put the pictures. I was looking at the assignment. I don't think I have the pictures of the book in, in Chapter 3. Uh, notebooks, as you guys leave, put them on that windowsill for me.
<laughs> breathing? Yeah, I know.